This guy probably looks familiar by now. He, he's the reigning four-wheel drive world champ. He uh, TQ'd that last, or the fourth round of qualifying, and again repeated here in the last fifth round of qualifying, taking the overall TQ. If our math serves correctly, he's going to lose the tiebreaker to Jorn Newman by less than a second, but you got to feel good carrying all this momentum into the mains tomorrow, winning the last two rounds. Yeah, I, mean, I changed my car the last two rounds and definitely went into the right direction that we needed to go in. It's definitely more raceable, and I'm pretty excited just to get on the track and race, you know, and hopefully the rain holds off and we can get the show underway. Yeah, talk, speaking about rain, uh, we had problems during the two-wheel drive segment. It cleared up the last couple of days, but the, there's rain in the forecast tomorrow for a, the afternoon. Uh, it's going to be a big bummer if this gets rained out tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, hopefully it will hold off. We're going to start a little bit earlier tomorrow, and uh, it was good they got the last round of qualifying in, and it helped me just because I was able to uh, kind of keep my momentum going throughout the day, and uh, now I can rest, and the car's pretty much prepped and ready to roll, so... It's always an advantage starting up toward the front of the grid, uh, but is it kind of nice starting second knowing that you don't have to lead the pack into the first corner. Instead, you get to be in attack mode from the get-go. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're really close on speed-wise, so it's really just going to be, uh, yeah, I'm going to be out for, uh, you know, to attack right away. But, uh, you know, it's always good to be out front and, you know, but it's always good to be close enough to win. So I'll take where I'm at right now. Yeah, you know, five feet on the grid may not mean a whole lot after the end of a five-minute main. Uh, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Standing here with a very happy German uh, Team Durango driver, Jorn Newman, wrapping up the overall TQ. Here in the last round, uh, Ryan Cavallari got the last two rounds. You got the first two rounds and came down to a tiebreaker. You beat him by about a second. How does it feel? Uh, it feels crazy, very good. It, I think in the end it was like one tenth between us, and yeah, I'm very happy now. You uh, were one of the last drivers actually to beat Cavallari heads up in an international race when you won the Reedy Race of Champions lap. Not this past year, but the year prior. 2012, yeah. And uh, that was a really big win for you. I believe it was your biggest international win to date. Um, are you excited about tomorrow? Yeah, of course. I, I know Ryan. Uh, he is a very good driver. And yeah, I think it will be good racing tomorrow. You were pretty dominant in the first two rounds and kind of left people scratching their heads. Um, the last three rounds uh, obviously went to different drivers, but do you feel like uh, they were starting to catch up throughout the day, or do you feel like you still got a pretty good handle on things? No, I think they come a little bit closer, but I had a problem in, in round three where I made a crash before the start and, and bent the chassis a little bit, so we had to replace it for the next round. But now my car is same as in the first two rounds. It's very good. Is an advantage starting up front like that, or is it nice being maybe second or third where you can attack? I mean, is, uh, not only will you have nine drivers you know, starting behind you and breathing down your neck right at the beginning, but you lead the whole field into a tabletop triple section right after the first corner. I think it's an advantage, I think. Always good to start on the front. I'm, it's, a, it's no problem for me. It was pretty clear watching your car, especially through the flat sections of the track, uh, that your experience racing on the carpet tracks over in Europe had to help at least a little bit. Your car had so much corner speed. Uh, was that an advantage with such high grip levels this weekend? Yeah, of course. We, my car is like nearly the same setup as on carpet or AstroTurf. So I think it's definitely a big advantage. 
and you have a lot of experience winning those races over there as well, so that probably makes it a little easier going into tomorrow. Uh, maybe not easier because it, it's a world championship and everything can happen. Are you going to make any changes at all then? No, I just check everything, replace maybe some few parts and that's all. You think you'll get much sleep tonight? Yeah, of course. Always. <laughs> Very calm, cool and collected. This is Jorn Newman, Team Durango. Four-wheel drive, top qualifier here at the FMR World Championships. Congratulations and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Back when I used to watch that thriller over and over.